What is going on guys, Adrop here, and today we have some exciting news regarding Halo 5 Forge. Now, the Forge has only been out for a little while, and I think for the most part, it's been taken very well by the community. Of course, everything is new and different, and the controls can be a little confusing at first, but I truly believe that after you get uh, around the learning curve and start messing around, it's actually uh, really responsive and very easy to use. Of course, it's not perfect, some things are a little buggy, like the teleporting switches, but 343 promises to to fix all the issues within time and make the experience more streamlined and also plans to bring over new wreck items to forge as well which is really cool I think this is a step in the right direction, they are just trying to improve Forge and make it better. Personally, I really enjoy the Halo Forge. Things like uh, being able to change the object's physics from phase to normal, snapping at different angles, as well as being able to see uh, your current object's angle and stuff, really help just to keep everything consistent. And although I've heard a lot of people complaining about the controls, I really think that once you get used to moving yourself, as well as moving the other objects and stuff, it's uh, really quite easy to create whatever you have in in your head. So of course it's gonna be great to get all of the bug fixes and patches but the biggest news is of course the addition of items and vehicles that you can only earn from wreck packs. Senior mission designer Tom French responded on the Forge Hub website stating that some point they will work their way in but there are no details to talk about just yet. And of course this will be amazing when it makes its way over to Forge just the different items and how you can implement them and things like that but the difficulty it seems in adding in the new wreck features to the Forge is that currently the only way that you can get the wreck items is through opening wreck packs. So when the wreck items and the vehicles come to forge, how will they work exactly? You know, like, will they simply be made available to all players, whether they have them unlocked or not? Or will only the players that have the wreck items unlocked, will they only spawn for them? Will it matter if other players are in the Forge game with them or not? So, I mean, however they choose to make this work, it's just obvious that they need to pick one side or the other. Um, hopefully, I think that the best and most simple thing that they could do is just to make all the wreck cards available to everybody in Forge, just to avoid bugs of whether they can spawn in or not, depending on whether you have the wreck cards. Like, if you're in a game and someone has a wreck card and spawns it in and you are not supposed to be able to, and I just feel like that could get a lot buggier than it needs to be. And also, it's not going to create this big demand for wreck points outside of Warzone, which is the, uh, the only game type that was supposed to be uh, required to get these wreck points. The fact that they're bringing them into Forge, hopefully they don't make you need to purchase these items with wreck points as well, because I think that would be kind of stupid. We'll see with the new additions. It looks like 343 has had a good start with the Forge, the way it's come out. At least I think it didn't come out on uh, the release date, but it did come out, uh, you know, a little bit later. And I, I'm really enjoying the way things work, how things are looking. Hopefully they can clean up some of the bugs and stuff so that everything just works the way it's supposed to. And there's none of this random glitchy kind of stuff happening but uh, from where they're going it seems like they just want to make Forge better which I think is great. Apart from the new additions Forge will also take care of some of the key bug fixes. One huge issue being a glitch that caused vehicles to be floating in mid-air when you have several selected. There's also been a big difficulty with immovable objects and stagnant fog conditions for whatever reason as well as the moving switch thing that we talked about earlier. It's great that 343 is already aware of certain bugs and they're already working to try and solve these problems that are happening in Forge, but they are also taking into account all the considerations that people have, all bugs that are in the game. If you guys can let them know, then they're trying to solve all these different problems, how big or small. And the easiest way that you can do this is using the Xbox One DVR. Record the problem as it happens, record the bug so we can see what's going on, and then hopefully they will work to be able to fix these issues that we are having in-game. That is going to be all for now though, guys. Some big changes are on their way to Forge, hopefully soon. The new Rex, whether they make it in soon or later, I think they will be a nice addition that gives some players some different options for customization and things like that. But what are your experiences with Forge thus far? Has it been a smooth, streamlined experience? Has, have things been not working? What are your issues and how do you think the new rec system, the new rec cards and uh, options should be implemented into Forge? Do you think just everybody should get them? Do you think only the people that have them unlocked? What would you like to see happen in Forge as well? I'm very curious what you guys are thinking, what your experiences are with Forge. That is going to be all for this video though. Again, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next chapter.